Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert and I've got myself a copy of Radiator. Thanks to the guys over at Sound Toys to take a look at and do a show and tell review. It's a model of a vintage Altec 1567, a mixer amp, and it's got some really cool features on it. Some of you may have downloaded the free Little Radiator, which was basically a more or less uh, kind of plugin, but this one is a full-blown uh, piece of kit which has some really great features and adds some vintage sounds into your audio. Uh, some suggest it's the Motown sound. Uh, what I've got here is I've put down a track and I've got uh, addictive drums playing a drum part uh, with separate outputs and I've got a radiator on, on each one of them and I'll show you in detail. I've then got a Contact 5 playing Scarby bass. Uh, I'll put radiator on that. Then I've got a DB33 organ Hammond uh, through a salver and that's got radiator on it as well. I just want to show you that and I've also then got it on the, the mix bus. So what you have is you have a bass and treble control, you have a heat uh, display to show you how much uh, heat you're putting into your audio, uh, you have a noisy and clean setting on the channels uh, which you can introduce in, you have a mic and line switch and depending on what position that's in that will give you a different frequency response through the unit. You have an input gain and an output gain, then you have a mix control, which is really nice. You can kind of parallel process, and so I'll show you that on the master bus at the very end of this. So let's get this kit up first, and uh, I'll play you this kit. Let's take this kick drum then. Let's have a listen to this. And straight away you can hear that. Putting some body in. And then we can, as I say, push it. And then between them, start to move those around. That's a noisy setting. Okay, that noise floor going in. And so if we choose mic or line, we'll have different uh, frequency responses. Then we can mix the original and the dry. So here's the original and the wet, sorry. Mix those together. Really useful if you're going to put this on buses and stuff like uh, mixed buses and master buses. So let's now go to the snare. So it's really giving some life in there now. So we could get got some really nice frequency response here from these. Get much thinner, more body into that. Really start to push into that a bit more. Getting some real life into it now. Hi hat. Not much going on there with the hi hat at the moment. Let's do these overheads. So this got noisy and mic setting this time. You can hear there. A lot of input, less output gain this time. Really lifting that up. It's a really, really sweet circuit, really, really analog. Put some real colour and texture into your sound. There it is on the room. You can really hear it on that room. Could have really grown into that room if you wanted to. That's really nice. See the whole lot now. On that tom. Let's take those out there. here at that. Just adding a, a whole new dimension. It was effectively just a virtual instrument. Uh, and there you can hear the noise floor now because some of them have got the noise switched in. Really adding some real noise. That's real vintage for you. Let's have a listen to the bass guitar now.
that's nice. You can hear that if you put the mic in. Some more low-end information coming through there. It's very nice. in there. And they've got it on organ then, Hammond organ. Some more bottom end in there. So I like that. Let's hear the rest of that track now together. Let's bypass them all. here on a whole mix now so we'll come over here to the master section and this is where we can use the mix to do some really cool stuff so so there's the original so that coloration there's a bit a bit extreme now It's nice having this mix so we can kind of parallel parallel processing stuff. There's the original. There's the new one with some saturation. You can hear the actual you can actually hear the EQ changing there as so I go into mic mode. I'll pull some of the bass out of these. it bypassed again. So there we go. It's really got some character and uh, if you've got sounds and they're really they've got no real life to them then radiator is a real great addition on vocals it would be great as well and uh, you could try it on that too so there it is on a kind of uh, jazzy kind of funk thing I'm just gonna just bypass all that noise back out and uh, i have to say it's a fantastic plugin and at the moment some great plugin deals if i think there's a, an upgrade deal at the moment 49 dollars uh, which is a steal to get from Little Radiator, which was free anyway in the first place to the, to the full version. I think that's a time-limited option, I think, until uh, the end of December, early January, but well worth checking out. A uh, big thumbs up from us over at Pro Tools Expert to the guys at Sound Tools, because this Sound Toys, because this is a great little plugin, and adds real character and real vintage sound 
into uh, into really cool sounds and as you see there I've just used it on some some pretty standard VIs and given them a whole new lease of life by using Radiator. So that's a great job by the guys over at Sound Toys at giving those of us with DAWs and we may not have the outboard gear but this is a great way of adding some real vintage life into our tracks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.